Lord here at Jungle. Lord here at Jungle. So in these slides going forward, we have this uh, partition in between and on the left hand side, we will have OpenStack. On the right hand side, we will have corresponding comparison with Q Kubernetes object. Okay. So let's compare start and let's compare the main function. So the main function of OpenStack. So OpenStack is a cloud management system. As we all know, this diagram we have understood in previous sections also that uh, we have hardware, we have operating system, okay, and uh, but only this operating system or hypervisor or uh, hardware cannot make a cloud. You need a management system to manage that cloud, and that management system is OpenStack. So OpenStack itself is a CMS, a cloud management system, while Kubernetes is only a container manager so if in case kubernetes is deployed on cloud where vnfs are also there then kubernetes will manage its containers while openstack will manage vnfs and in case kubernetes is deployed on bare metal then kubernetes is anyway managing containers right so openstack is a cms while kubernetes is a container manager okay if I talk, if I compare hypervisor and container engine, so these are the this this is also a good comparison. Uh, KVM, kernel-based virtual machine, is the hypervisor used in OpenStack, okay? Which is nothing but a advanced Linux kernel of any Linux distribution like RHEL or CentOS or anyone, right? So the hypervisor uh, is is situated just above the hardware just above the server and on top of hypervisor you have vms created so corresponding to hypervisor we have container engine in kubernetes okay so uh, you you can argue that okay uh, you also have hypervisor here also uh, yes that is true uh, you can have a hypervisor or you can have a normal operating system but still you require a container engine if you want to create pods or containers on this infrastructure so the hypervisor type or the hypervisor name is kvm in openstack and uh, the container engines are of diff can be of different types in kubernetes so container engine can be docker uh, which is the default engine can be uh, creo which is an open uh, container runtime engine can be rkt also called as rocket by core os and can be container d which we are using in our cluster okay uh, what are the building blocks or smallest units in openstack and in kubernetes so a vm is a smallest unit in openstack so we create vms and a pod is a smallest unit in kubernetes so a pod is an isolated unit of containers we have already gone into the details of pods and containers so in kubernetes pod is the smallest unit and vm is the smallest unit in openstack a final deployment what you achieve finally in openstack so we achieve vnfs in openstack so vnf is a group of vms basically 2 3 5 10 vms uh, bonded together via a network is called a vnf and here we achieved cnf so cnf is a group of pods very similar to group of vms in openstack if i talk about the software structure then the software structure of openstack is not at all modular okay this is very important slide to understand uh, when i say not at all modular so these are the software components of openstack so you have horizon you have nova cinder neutron keystone and other components also we have uh, swift we have heat we have uh, 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 manila okay these are all are all components are there Silometer. so i have shown five here only uh, why i have shown them together bonded together because these are not at all modular not at all modular means a single component cannot be upgraded added or removed let's say you want to remove cinder you cannot do that okay let's say you want to upgrade only neutron you cannot do that you have to 
upgrade the whole OpenStack image to the next version. Okay, so uh, these are all separate separate projects. Okay, and they come combinedly they called as OpenStack, but still they are bound bounded together. I mean these they they cannot be managed separately. That's the point I want to make. But that's not the case in Kubernetes. In Kubernetes, the whole structure is completely modular. Okay, uh, the CRI, the CSI, the CNI, and the add-ons, and the core Kubernetes engine itself. You can upgrade any one of them. You can add, you can remove them easily. So you can add a CNI and you can remove uh, another CNI. You can add a, CN, a CSI or you can remove uh, that CSI in a running cluster. You can upgrade the CNI. You can upgrade the Kubernetes engine itself. Okay. And not the others. Any combination you can make here. So this is very much modular in Kubernetes.